Hello everyone. I'm Kanchana from BMC Software. Today, I'm excited to share our journey of transitioning from documenting file-based deployments to creating documentation for container deployments. We'll delve into the best practices, the challenges we faced, and the lessons we learned along the way. So what are containers? Containers are like portable packages of software. They bundle up the code and everything it needs for an application to run smoothly on any machine. While containerization has been around for a while, it is now the preferred choice for enterprise architectures. Let us now look at BMC's containerization journey. As a forward-thinking organization, BMC embraced containerization for their autonomous digital enterprise by delivering cloud-based applications as containers to on-premises customers. In order to enhance installation and upgrades, improve scalability, reduce downtime, and accelerate innovation adoption. But containerization presented challenges for both the engineering and the documentation teams. We had to understand new technologies and know the differences between file-based deployments and container deployments. We had no SDDs to refer to, and we do not know if our audience were novices or experts in these technologies. So we thought of ways to overcome these challenges and came up with a strategy. Our team of information developers, under the guidance of our manager, Ashwini Mathad, brainstormed together and we devised a plan. Our first step was to take comprehensive training on container technologies like Kubernetes, Docker, Ansible, Git, Elasticsearch, Grafana, and so on. We also studied the Docker documentation to understand the sequence and flow of container deployment. We tried out the steps to deploy containers by ourselves. We noted down the process and the issues we faced during the deployment. We gathered insights on the different personas using our documentation and the proficiency levels in these technologies. We interviewed subject matter experts and validated our understanding. We made sure to be actively involved in technical discussions to gain a deeper understanding of the deployment process. Based on the information we gathered, we, create the, we created the information experience plan that is a blueprint for our documentation and got it approved by the information architects. Following our content model, we created the first draft of our on-premises container deployment documentation. We included rich media such as screenshots, process diagrams, infographics, GIFs and videos, and supplemented the written instructions. We also created a topic that highlighted the differences between deploying applications in a containerized versus a non-containerized environment, so that users who are familiar with file-based deployments can easily find their way in a container world. For example, how to access log files, how to configure web servers, apply security certificates, generate license reports, and other tasks. We also added a where to go from here section to help users easily navigate through complex tasks that spanned across various topics. We included a skill set required section in the getting started branch and other important topics to equip users with the skills required for performing these tasks. To assist users in generating container deployment technology, we included a glossary that has definitions that are specific to our deployment and not definitions that you get on the internet. As per our internal discussions with customer facing teams, we formulated an FAQ section to address common questions and provide quick answers. We followed an iterative process for creating our documentation to ensure its accuracy and effectiveness. We incorporated feedback from various stakeholders, including customer support and professional services. After numerous rounds of technical and editorial reviews, our on-premises deployment documentation was ready. The next step was to validate the documentation. We asked several teams to try out the install and upgrade process by using our documentation. We engaged with customers in controlled availability programs and early access reviews to incorporate their valuable feedback and ensure that our documentation met the evolving needs of users. With every product released to on-premises customers, we have been tracking metrics diligently to understand how our users are using our documentation. We track the pages that have the most number of views and pages that are voted as not helpful. We identify the gaps in our documentation and update the content accordingly. Our month-over-month -month metrics shows that on-premises deployment documentation is the most searched for and the most viewed documentation. Key topics such as system requirements, planning, installation overview, 
installing and upgrading procedures received the most attention and positive feedback from our users. We began our journey with a number of unknown factors when we started creating documentation for container deployment. But gradually, we overcame our challenges, embraced new initiatives, built up the documentation from scratch, and today, we proudly present our documentation as a single source of truth for all our users. When creating documentation for complex solutions, here are some best practices to follow while adhering to our IDD processes. First, understand your customers. Understand your audience. We realized that though our users were experienced in five days deployments, they needed hand-holding because they were new to container deployments. As writers, it is our job to document complex information in a simple manner that is easy to follow. We simplified the complex tasks by providing detailed instructions, visuals, infographics, examples, sample code, and adding additional resources like training links. At times, it's important to say no to unrealistic documentation tasks. We politely refuse requests to document information about third-party applications, such as Kubernetes and load balancer setup, giving valid reasons. We also should act as a facilitator to align all the stakeholders. We published our upgrading content only after we resolved all the stakeholder queries and tested the content thoroughly. We hope this presentation has given you valuable insights into our documentation journey. We encourage you to apply these learnings to any, any unique documentation challenges you might face. We urge you to embrace any new initiatives and create engaging content that aligns with industry best practices. Thank you.